Hint, the stone can be found on the outskirts of North Run behind the EV map. Oh, hey. <laughs> It has been a while, but I am finally back on some Pokefine. If you haven't been following this series, just to give you a little uh, rundown, this is Pokefine. Essentially, it is pi uh, Minecraft Pixelmon without mods. In the upcoming quest, you can see some of them, uh, it's all out of order, which actually upsets me. There's one in particular that I was looking at, though, which is this one. Eevee Exploration. Everybody loves Eevee, but there is much to learn about this Pokemon. Are you ready to take the dive? Battle level 10. We're seven levels above that, as you can see, we're trainer level 17. We get 10 tokens, 10,000 coins, 10,000 trainer experience, a mystery reward, reward, I can't speak, which I imagine is an Eevee, and an adventurer bag, which is actually very useful seeing as my inventory is cluttered. Hi there, trainer. You look like someone who wants to learn about Eevee. I sure do. You are in luck. I just happen to be the Eevee expert of Zen Z Zenova. Forgot the name of it. Tell you what, defeat five normal type Pokemon in battle and I will teach you the way of the Eevee. Ooh, okay. So all we have to do is beat five normal types? Are you a normal type? Normal flying? Let's find out. You are a normal type. So I assume it would, it would count. Um, I'm way over leveled compared to you. Well, still, I mean, not really that much, but still a decent amount. There is still a Zigzagoon somewhere, and we're like, almost, oh, it's, it's right here. This is Zigzagoon somewhere. I don't know where, guys. It's right here. I haven't used this yet, have I? Play rough. Oh, God. I thought it was play rough, not play explode. <laughs> oh, no. The Rattata exploded. That was number five. I don't know how to count. To begin, Eevee is a normal type Pokemon, which means that it spawns in Findale Harbor. It has seven evolutions available in this region. Join me at Auntie Alma's house in Spirit Vale. What is across from the Pokemart? Where the hell is Spirit Vale? Oh. Alright, moment of truth. Can I cross this line? I sure can. Okay, I guess we go to Spirit Vale. Um, that's pretty far though, which means I'm gonna be swimming for a while. Now, the next question is, do I drown? Land ho, gentlemen! We have found it! Spirit Veil! And we're getting there early. Like I said, only to do this one singular quest. And then we're leaving because I kind of don't want to progress out of order. Although, I guess you really can't, I don't think. So, across from the Pokemart, that is this house over here. Hello! No, it's not. Wait, Trader Joe. No. What? I spotted her, guys! Rainbow hair at all! That's te technically a cross for the Pokemon. I'll, I'll count it. Now, these ones are pretty important because they're actually more complicated. Level of an Eevee with high happiness at night or at day to get Umbreon or Espeon. Fun fact, these two are kind of my favorites, um, but my absolute favorite is Sylveon. She is the seller of berries that increase a Pokemon's happiness. Ooh, every berry she sells increases the happiness stat. Keep in mind, the happier a Pokemon gets, the harder it becomes to increase the happiness stat. That makes sense. By my count, you will need 40 berries to reach 220 happiness when your starting is zero. That would cost me uh, all of my money. So it's set across from the bike shop when you're leaving town, which is right here. I can see her. Hello. You may now be wondering how to check your Pokemon's happiness. Finally, an answer to my question that I was asking the last time I streamed this, or I think it was the last time I streamed this. If I tell you my it feels incredibly close to you, Nothing makes it happier than being with you. That means your Pokemon is at max happiness. Okay. Moss Stone in Greenholm. It's 100 coins for the boat? Oh, absolutely. Yes, take me. Yeah, easy. W. Oh my god, I should have done this to begin with. Never mind, it's not that bad. Hello, Eve. I see you're, you got a leafy on. Welcome to Greenholm. More sp uh, specifically, the Mossy Stone. It's here where you will evolve your Eevee into leafy on. Here's how. While standing near the stone, level up your Eevee once. The evolution is currently only possible here in Zenova and the far-off region of Shiloh. Hello, D Diane. I would very much like to go across the river. 100 coins? Sure, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Bam. Done. Hint, the stone can be found on the outskirts of North Run behind the Eevee map. Oh, hey. <laughs> It's here where you evolve your Eevee into Glaceon. This is how. Same way you do it with the other stone, except an Icy Stone. Wow! Oh my god! Who would have guessed? You know, it has been a moment since I have given you an evil... Wait, uh, since I've given my evolutions a good battle. Oh, fudge. All right, you don't beat me. This isn't even gonna be a challenge. Shadow Ball? 
Okay, that did a lot of damage for being level... Oh, it put me at level 12. That actually makes sense and makes it a lot more fun. I do actually like that mechanic. Leafeon's gonna be a bit of a problem. I also don't have anything particularly good against Ice-type. And I know Glaceon's gonna come up. That's an Umbreon. Okay. I feel like this is a really good way to end this quest, isn't it? Like, you go around, you find out all this information, and then you fight the evolutions to see how good they are and kind of figure out which ones you like. We only have one left? I guess that makes sense. You can't have a Glaceon, huh? Because you have Flareon, uh, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Espeon. You can't have a Glaceon. You can only have Leafeon. How did I lose count? That's because I can't count. We discovered that earlier. Right, guys? Nice. Uh-oh. Alright. Oh, my team is fully healed. Alright, let's try again. So, we know you lead with... Jolteon? Let me lead with Munchlax. It's basically becoming trial and error, figuring out who I send out first. Shadow Ball is really good against him, isn't it? We're just gonna run from the fight. I, uh, I already failed the fight. I already failed. Does that mean my dude? Okay, everyone's still healed up? Okay. Welcome, guys, to RNG Hell. Have you ever wanted to not be able to win all due to just absolute bullshit? Well, let me tell you, Pokemon is the place to be. You'll get paralyzed, critted, 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 miss your attack all in one turn. It's fantastic. I think I'm in the same position, the exact same position. I'm doing the exact same thing, because if I send out you, then you just get one shot, and then we lose the fight because you one-shot Pig Knight, which is unfortunate. There's really not anything I can do, unless this crits. It didn't crit. Let's make a team change, because I don't think my team is going to be able to win this. I probably could if I actually sat down and, you know, wasn't an idiot. Or actually, what level does, what level does Ghastly evolve into Haunter? At level 25, okay, that means that you need two more levels. Let's go into this fight again, I guess. Or no, sorry, that's right, I wanted to trade out my team first. Um, who do I trade out? I guess Meditite, Amnesia, he doesn't take a lot of special attack damage because it boosts his special, I'm sorry, he boosts his special defense, not special attack, as much as his uh, special attack, we want to boost his special defense, and then we want to start attack, uh, start attack, blah, blah, tackling him. Jesus. Bye, you're dead. And then I know the next one is a tough one, right? Actually, was Electabuzz weaker last time? No. Flareon? Oh yeah, Flareon one-shots you, doesn't it? That means I hit you again, and that, that actually puts us in a much better position. Does that mean he fucking critted me every time? Because every time Electabuzz was near eight, full HP and got one shot. Admiral, you are the one for me, because you... I believe can one shot with play rough. Oh, you lived. Oh my god. I'm on pace. I'm on pace to win this. I haven't even like, I haven't even used anyone different. I just did a different strategy, I guess. Just powering through it. Revenge, because that'll be double damage. Bam. Out of here. I don't even had to use Haunter. Pinsir was the winner, though. Pinsir won the fight for us. So Pinsir was a W. Big, good, 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 big choice. I feel like I gotta put Haunter in the field. You know, I just got him. I can save my best for last, just in case, you know, things don't go the way that I would like them to. Let's go ahead and use a Sunker Punch. Why did Shadow Punch do a lot more damage? Oh, Sunker Punch is a dark move. That makes a lot more sense because Shadow Punch is a uh, ghost move. It gets the stab damage. That's why it did more. Oh my god! You have a seventh Pokemon? Oh, I'm being scammed. I, I actually can't believe this. I didn't expect this. Well, okay, we're good. We're fine. If that's the strongest move you have, I mean, it's over. You now know what I know about Eevee, perhaps. One day Eevee will take on a never-before-seen form. How exciting. Okay, that's awesome. So we can use, uh, put all of this in there. The stuff that I truly, truly don't need. I can't put that in there? Well, that sucks. I think that this is where I'm gonna go ahead and call this one. Guys, make sure you leave a like on this one and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And stick around, there are some awesome videos uploaded three times a week. That's pretty much it, though. I will see you guys in the next one.